when we think about greatness, we, we think about someone like Steve Jobs who has completely changed how we communicate in the world, how we listen to music, how we watch videos. He's changed it all. He achieved such a huge level in success and what he did. Let's not get success confused with greatness. What's up guys, Jonathan George here and I am so excited today. We're gonna talk about greatness. This is what I built my whole career on is developing greatness in people and helping them walk in that greatness. What does that even mean? I just had a conversation at lunch today with Tyler, he's behind the camera and he was like, I don't know if you can ever achieve greatness. I truly believe that you can achieve greatness. The minute that you understand what your gifts are and the things that you're really great in your life and that you accept those and you walk confidently in those 100%, you have achieved greatness. I'm gonna go back and talk about the it factor. You know, there's TV shows about X factor and we talk about the it factor. That's because somebody walks into the space and owns at 100% with their full confidence, knowing who they are. They understand exactly what their strengths are and there is nothing wrong with that. And that is what I encourage in every single one of you is to understand that you have greatness in you. Greatness is not like a big mystery. Now you may say, I don't understand my greatness. I don't know what I'm great at. I don't know that I'm great at anything. Now I've posted videos before and you know when I start first started talking about walking in your greatness my cousin reached out to me and she said Jonathan I don't feel like I'm great at anything and I said write down everything that you think that you are really good at you may not be a master at that that's okay you don't have to be a master at something in order to be great write all of those things down so she came back to me she goes I, I feel really embarrassed I feel like I'm mediocre at all of these things let me just tell you one thing mediocre talent can change the entire world. I know I always use the analogy of Britney Spears. You know, everybody wants to be Christina Aguilera, but you're not a Christina Aguilera. That girl can sing unbelievably. Her musicianship is unbelievable. That girl knows every part of her voice. Whether you love it or not, she is a freak of nature. She is amazing. And Britney Spears is mediocre vocal talent. Now, am I putting Britney Spears down? No way. That girl has achieved more. She has done so much. She really inspired a whole generation of young people. And probably the people who are actually watching this video right now were Britney Spears fans. So mediocre talent can do amazing things in your life. Don't get caught up in not being the best or mastering the best. And also along with greatness, you have to understand what your downfalls are, what your, what your insecure of, what your weaknesses are. We're not gonna concentrate on those things for the rest of the world, but we're gonna work on them. So if you have weaknesses, you gotta work on those things just as hard as you work on as anything else in your life. So in your business practices, whether it's in your marriage, whether it's in your home life. So if you are wanting to be, Tyler, what's something that somebody wants to be? A singer. That's because we are right here at a stage. So Tyler says, you know, if you want to be a singer. Now, music is something that we all can relate to. And that's the reason why I use it a lot, because it's not something that's obscure. We all watch American Idol. We all watch The Voice. We all listen to the radio. We all have MP3 players and iPhones. We watch music videos and we invest going into concerts. So music is something that we all can understand. So I'm going to, Tyler says to sing a singer. Now a singer might be mediocre talent. I watched an interview on JLo and she's like, if I listened to all the naysayers, I would not be where I am today because vocally she's not the best, we all know that, but she has worked extremely hard on her vocals. Taylor Swift has worked extremely hard on her vocals. What she's a great at was her songwriting and her ability to connect with people. So she used all of her gifts and she worked on all this other stuff and look at where Taylor Swift is now. You can't touch that girl. She's one of the most successful artists. J-Lo is the same thing. She was a dancer. She came to Los Angeles to be a dancer. And she is a great personality and she is one of the hardest working people. And she is a smart businesswoman. So she used all of her gifts to get where she is. It's not just by mishap or luck or being in the right time, the right place. She worked hard and she is a smart businesswoman and she went out and got the things in her life. 
And she had to work on all these weaknesses of hers in order to be where she is to have the kind of success that she has in her life. Understand what you're weak at. Understand what your weaknesses are and you train on those. You work on those things. You know, I've used the analogy also, one of my artists who everybody told her that she would never be a singer, that she needed to give it up and that her daddy was just paying her way and everything else. But I believed in her because it was so deep in her heart she had to work harder than everyone else on her pitch, on her rhythm, on her voice, on her musicality. She trained for three years solid. She did not stop training. And I'm gonna just tell you right now, she is working with one of the number one producers in the world. She got signed and you guys will be hearing her and you will know who she is. But she didn't let her weaknesses change her. Now her greatness is her confidence and her belief in herself. She truly believes and she is so vivacious and she is so like hungry for everything that she does in life and she is so confident in that her dreams she can achieve them and she has done it. So don't let your weaknesses be a stumbling block. You work harder than everybody else so that you can reach the things that you want to be successful at. Does that make sense to you guys? I really hope you're understanding and that this is driving home to you and that you're getting this and you're understanding that your greatness is achieving full capacity of confidence to walk in your gifts, in your abilities, and in your strengths. So you can have your greatness and be confident in that greatness. Don't have to apologize for being great at something. Never apologize. Many times we feel like, oh, I'm gonna feel like being confident to say the things that I'm great at. It feels very, um, sounds egotistical. This sounds, you know, but I shouldn't apologize for knowing what I am great at but walk in that confidence. But cockiness and arrogance, that will never fly. Nobody's ever gonna like you. So don't be cocky and arrogant with the things that you're great at, okay? And if you don't know your greatness and you don't know what you're really great at, I want you to ask everybody around you. Ask your parents, because your parents know you better than anybody. Ask your sibling, ask your friends, ask people that are around you, ask your grandparents. See what they have to say. Now they probably think that you're the best thing that, that was invented since the wheel. You know, they just think that you're amazing but start writing all these things that people think that you're great at so that you can truly start laying this out. You gotta be able to see it to understand it. And I want you to write out what are your weaknesses? What is your downfalls? What are you insecure at? I truly believe that you can achieve greatness. All right, guys, we are going to be releasing so many videos over the next two or three weeks. And so I want you to make sure that you're checking out these videos that are right here above. And I want to make sure that you subscribe and click on that bell so you get notifications of these videos. They are game changers for you. They are things to be thinking about and to be applying to your life so that you can encounter greatness, that you can walk in your greatness, that you can be a 150% the best of you that you can possibly be. All right. I look forward to seeing you at the end of this and I want to hear from you guys. Peace out.